Welcome to the South Texan Online. I'm Noel Longoria. Texas A&M University Kingsville played against the San Angelo Rams this past Saturday night and beat the Rams 28-21. The Hollands came off fast through the air as Nate Popo connected with wide receiver Delishon Dean for 48 yards. Unfortunately, the same play would put out Dean for the rest of the game due to a knee injury. But the Hollands did not let up. On the same drive, Popo would run the ball in for 8 yards for a Holland touchdown, making the score 7-0. The Rams came back to prove that they too could play with the Javelinas as number 7 Tristan Carter would score for the Rams tying the game up 7-7. Nicewander would hit V. Kean on a 20-yard pass to put the Rams up 14-7. The Javelinas would keep on fighting on a 10-play 76-yard drive when Popple would connect with Ryan Lincoln from 8 yards tying it all up 21-21. On third and seven, Nate Popo would hit Robert Armstrong on a 62-yard pass for the winning touchdown. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Hey, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what's up, boy. Looking forward uh, to West Texas A&M next week. Uh, what do y'all have to do to get off to a fast start? Oh, I mean, we just gotta go, go out to practice, practice hard, be more consistent in what we do, and uh, everything will shake out. Good. You know, I really don't know. I know uh, it didn't look good, and they, you know, initially, uh, um, you know, anytime you see an ambulance come out here and cart them off, here, it doesn't look too good. So I'm, our prayers are with him, and you know, it's, it happens at times, and unfortunately, it happened to us earlier right there. Soft Angelo, they're a good football team. I mean, uh, you know, they probably felt like they should have been four and zero coming in, at least three and one. They let one slip last week, and you know, it was two ball clubs that were um, battling to try to get a win, and. It's just you know, another game in the Lone Star Conference South. Mm -hmm. Tough on the road for sure. Hey, uh, Nate was getting beat up a little uh, mm -hmm. there early on, but what does yeah, that say about his I think we were character? a little confused up front initially. And, uh, you know, he stood in there, stood tall, and um, that's probably the way he finished it up. You know, he hit the deep ball late to, to, to put us up. You know, I'm not going to say finish it off because the defense had to come back out there and get it. But, um, again, hats off to Angelo State. They did a nice job. All right, Nate, well, you know, you took a couple of hits there early on, but then um, – but the offense was moving there for at least part of the first half. Uh, what kind of happened there at the end of the first half going into the second? Uh, you know, we just kind of we kind of lost control of it a little bit. Just a couple inconsistent plays. You know, uh, we just had to hang in there and, and stay with it, stay with the game plan, and, and we knew eventually what we could get rolling, and, and that's what happened. Thank goodness. Uh, we were lucky to get another shot at it, and and with a tie game, you know, you like you like your chances with, with the ball in your hands. And we had playmakers that were able to 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 go under it, and Robert was able to go make a play to to save it there at the end. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the, some of the passes you weren't hitting last week, you're hitting this week. Uh, how do you feel about that going into next week against West Texas? Oh, it's good. You know, uh, I never really lost confidence in, in, in the post route or the, or the deep ball. We just uh, we didn't connect on them last week, and that's, I think that's just part of the game. I was, I was glad that we had confidence to come back out tonight and, uh, and keep, keep throwing it around the field a little bit, and, you know, it worked out for us. For the South Texan Online, I'm Noah Longoria.